Okay. Happy New Year to everybody. 2023. First week of the year. And really exciting this year. We got a lot of new projects. Well, I'm still working on my house. That project is, uh, it will take me for a few more months to be done. But for now, we're gonna, we're gonna work on, on bringing back the toba. Uh, since we, we have a new, our guy who used to make toba for us, and now he's back. Well, he left before and now he's back. So today you'll see how we do it. Uh, from the beginning till the time that we get the uh, the first drop from the from the flower bunch. Okay, so we're gonna start off and by the way I have to introduce you this is Joem he used to work for us and then he left for school and now he's back so he's going to restart the tuba making process again okay so this tree hasn't been cleaned and trained yet we didn't make tuba out of this tree so this is the first step, cleaning out the trees, the excess palms, the, the fruits, well, you can remove the fruits or you could keep it, it's up to you, but for us it would be more comfortable for us to just remove the fruits. Okay, so basically what he did was just clearing out some of the leaves and I don't know what you call this in English but we call this ginit so you remove that to clear out the palm and now you could see the flower bunch hey, 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 hey. here goes the lower leaves that he has to clear because it's really annoying. If you're up there, it's really annoying. Something's touching you everywhere. And also, the main purpose of that is to lessen the insects. Because most insects would love to live on that, on those leaves. And if you could see the small palm, uh, the small flower bunch. That's the flower bunch right there. Yeah, oh, that's the that's what that's the flower bunch. So at that age, that's the best age that you could start start to train it. You know, slowly, slowly bending it every day. Now he's gonna cut small part of the palm to make way for the bunch to grow faster. That way, it would it would be easier to bend. Now he's gonna put a twine on the tip. So not really on the middle but just on the tip. And then slowly and slowly bend it. Not too much because you're gonna break it. Once it's break, it's gone. You have to find another bunch to do that again. So this is what it looks like for a start. Okay, so this is the string. That's the flower bunch right there. Or maybe a flower pod. So with the string you have to tie it up right here on the palm so that it could every day if it grows it will be it will be bent okay so this is from a different tree 
but for the first one this it would look like this in about a week and now Joem is clearing it again because he's going to tie a rubber band around it now the purpose of uh, the rubber band is to prevent the flower branch from cracking Okay, so the rubber band that we're going to use comes from an old entire interior. Just gonna, just gonna cut good size and a good length so that you could wrap it around this flower bunch. Just like I said, it's gonna prevent the shell from cracking. Because if it's gonna crack, the flowers will mature uh, immediately that the harvesting of the of the tuba will be less compared to the ones that you could keep the shell from cracking just gonna wrap it around all the way to the tip Then slowly it's gonna bend. And then after that, we can cut the tip of the flower bunch. So, okay. Now, in about two to three weeks uh, and you know gently just by bending it it would look like this enough enough now Joe aims going to cut the, the tip of it just uh, half an inch it's enough not too much See the juice flowing and the tip going down under the bunch. Now this time you can't you can't really catch it. Just uh, leave it out for the insects first. We we'll probably need about two or three days before we could tie it up cellophane or we could start catching uh, the toady. In about three weeks, you could notice that the tip of the coconut bunch will start dripping more and more juice. So now, you have to tie up cellophane. We use cellophane because it would be cleaner that way. Uh, insects won't, uh, can't get inside. So the toady, the toba will be clean. And also we use rubber to tie it up because it's uh, stronger and it's airtight and also that way the tip of the flower bunch will, will not dry up the rest of the day let's just wait after a few hours you'll see there will be a lot of 2D inside, inside of the cellophane we got the first drop so let's just wait for a few hours then you'll see the color of the fresh freshly harvested tuba <laughs> so it's been about two hours since we cut the tip of this pod and now we have that much uh, coconut tuli or tuba as you can see it's clear since it's really fresh so that means the fermentation hasn't started yet about 24 hours if you put it in a container and not put it in a fridge it will, the alcohol content of it will be 
really strong. Okay, so it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So we're done halfway of the day and that's what we get. So that's about 100 to 150 ml of kuba. As you can see, it's a little bit clear. But for sure this afternoon or maybe tomorrow it will be white. Because by then the fermentation would have started. So let's wait for a couple more hours or three hours, then we're gonna try to drink that. Okay, so it's now 4 p.m., almost 5. And this time we have maybe around 200 ml of tuba. Now, join will harvest. Uh, this is the first tuba of the comeback. So, okay, we got our first tuba now. And then, then we'll cut it again. So that will be a fresh wound, but will be dripping right there. Then let's see how much we could have tomorrow in the morning. That's part. Tonight we're gonna put this in the fridge and we're gonna drink this tomorrow when it's chilled. See tomorrow. Okay, so you might wonder why we put a cut of 1.5 liter bottle of Coca Cola in there. That is to protect the plastic, the cellophane from insects and bats. Because most of the time, a large wasp and bats will will nibble on the on the cellophane and they will suck out the the bus. So, this is just to secure the cellophane. You'll see tomorrow, it will be filled up. Not to the brim, but pretty sure it will have, it will have more than what we have now. Okay, good morning. So, yesterday, that was our first harvest of the, of the toba. And now, this is the second harvest, so... Uh, this tuba was dripping all night. Now let's see how much it's uh, it's compared to yesterday's harvest. Uh, it's a bit more compared to yesterday. Looking good. Okay. Now let's. Put this in the fridge for a while, then we'll have to, you can drink it later. Okay, so good morning again. Now yesterday we harvested, we had our first harvest of Kaba. Now this is it. Uh, it was chilled overnight, so you can see it's a little bit wider compared to this. Now this one we harvested this, this morning. So this is the first 24 hours of Toba, toba harvest so let's see and let's mix this up in one glass and I'm pretty sure this is really sweet by the way I have to remind you not all coconut trees are the same some gives a lot of uh, toba some some less and some doesn't so don't lose hope if the first coconut tree that you've tried didn't work. Just try it on the other tree. And also, this amount of toba is just for the first few days. As the days go on, as the weeks go on, especially if, it, if you get to the 
half length of the pod, you will harvest more and more. It seems sticky. That's because there's a there's a lot of sugar content in it. Go. Mm, sing. Oh, ayo maghut na kayo mga ibad. Anda? Yaw, ayo kao? Man. Eh, tungkol lang. Man ang lagod na nang kasukal pa. Yaw. Anda? Yeah! The boys approve. This is the sweetest and the, the most precious toba they could, that you could get. It's perfect for before you go, before you sleep, you should drink one glass or during the day, just, you know, just like any other thing, just drink moderately. Thank you so much. See you again next time.